I wanted to do the cam retainer plate because I was having the good old oiling issues that you have with LS engines at times. So I said, well, if I'm going as far as the water pump anyhow, I might as well get the stuff to do the cam plate as well. And, the, and of course, the pickup O-ring. Um, because it's, you know, it's just a little bit further into the engine. Well, when I went to take the sprocket, so the cam plate is behind the timing sprocket, the camshaft timing sprocket. When I took that off, I found that the alignment peg on the camshaft was bent. And uh, I was like, I can't believe this. Is this for real? So I took a square to it and confirmed that, yeah, it's totally bent. I took a picture and everything. This worried me. On top of that, to make it even worse, I thought, well, maybe, you know, eh, I'll put it back together because it was running, so I'll put it back together and maybe it'll be okay. Well, when I went to put it back together, the alignment peg broke clean off. So now here I am with a high-end Brian Tooley camshaft with a broken alignment peg. So to say I was a bit peeved is an understatement. All right, so I just want to show you guys what I'm talking about. This right here is the missing alignment peg. Done broke clean off. Um, yeah, and because it broke in a weird fashion, there's no way that you're... I mean, I guess you could try drilling it or whatever, but honestly, there's no way you're going to cleanly replace that, that alignment peg, you know, without damaging something in there. And frankly, it's just not worth it. The next day, I got a hold of Brian Tooley Racing, and when I told him what was going on, he said, you know, he said, it's okay. He's like, it's not the end of the world. The alignment peg is only there for alignment purposes. It is not there for holding the camshaft. It is not designed to take any rotational torque or shear force. What he did say is 100% of the time, when that happens, it's because the bolts that hold the sprocket on were not properly tightened. I said, okay. He said, if you take enough effort and caution to make sure that the sprocket is aligned properly when you put it on, you'll be fine. Torque the bolts down appropriately, use Loctite, it'll be okay. He did recommend the ARP fasteners. So what I have behind me and why I'm in this dingy setting in the first place is uh, I have some fun parts and I say fun parts. So we're upgrading to the dual roller timing set. We are upgrading to ARP fasteners on, on a number of the items. I'm going to make this timing set. I'm even doing the damper uh, the timing chain damper mod on the engine. <sighs> what I wanted to say, I googled this problem a lot. I looked for videos, I looked for references. I did find quite a few references to people trying to replace the alignment peg. And I'm going to say this, do not bother. Replacing the alignment peg is going to mean you somehow have to get that piece that's already in there out. Maybe you can drill it. If you're just drilling it, then you might be all right. Use lots of cooling fluid. But here's the thing. It's not completely necessary. According to Brian Tooley themselves, it's not 100% necessary. Extreme caution and attention to detail is more important than having that alignment peg there. And the possibility of you fucking with the temper of the camshaft when you're trying to replace that alignment peg is far worse than just taking a lot of caution and attention to detail when you're working on it. So, what I wanted to say, what I want to point out here, is that if you have the instance where you have a camshaft and the alignment peg has broke off, don't fret, don't worry, it's not the end of the world. Uh, it just means you're going to have to take a bit more caution and attention to detail in reassembling that engine and use some ARP fasteners. Just go a couple extra steps to make sure that it's going to be okay in the future. So, that's really what I wanted to get at in this. Now, I'm gonna take these parts, 
start working the rest of the way on this engine, reassembling it and making it for sure good going into the future.